Longest game usually means the best game, and that's going to be the case here for the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. And what a game this was. The Miami Dolphins trying to fight back from a four-game losing streak and gain back their fans that they lost, primarily due to the ownership change of Donald Trump. And also, Adam Gase has not been a fan favorite here either. But the Jets starting Christian Hackenberg at quarterback, and hopefully... The Miami Dolphins can take advantage of him and defenses win championships and this run defense was solid however the Miami Dolphins don't win championships so you can kind of forget about that one but Matt Forte stuffed pretty much all game long until he broke a huge one late in the fourth quarter he was pretty much held to 17 for 98 other than a couple of long runs so take that away and that's you're looking at like 15 for 70 which really isn't that bad and here's Jay Ajayi starting in place of Arian Foster who got hurt last week and he made a statement 22 for 121 and two touchdowns on the day a 5.5 average yards per carry mark and now Ryan Tannehill is going to blow that all away shatter every window Marcus Gilchrist picks it off and he takes it down to the 17. Terrible deep accuracy by Ryan Tannehill, not even setting his feet, just forcing it down the field when he did not need to, but the defense coming right back. Hit sticking. Matt Forte and Indomitian Sue falls on that one. This front seven has been on fire ever since trading Koa Misi away to the New York Jets, in fact. And here's Ryan Tannehill, and this front five has not been so fresh. The Miami Dolphins offensive line struggled all year this year, and they have continued to, as that is Sheldon Richardson on the recovery, taking it all the way down to the 11, and that is not good ball security by Ryan Tannehill. As he had a game where he fumbled three times earlier in the year against the Tennessee Titans, but here's Christian Hackenberg having to fare for himself here, breaking a tackle, and not a bad first career rushing touchdown for a leaping, a flipping, a skipping and dipping and flipping Christian Hackenberg into the end zone for the first touchdown of this ball game, and it's a pretty good one. Here in the second quarter, now Tannehill empty backfield that he was not going to quit, finding Jarvis Landry down the field. Big game for him that was cut short. We'll get into that later. A three for 100 and two touchdowns for Landry in limited action, and that is the 100 career touch passing touchdown of Ryan Tannehill's career, and of course Ryan Tannehill's massive legacy. However. Here come the Jets back. Matt Forte, one huge run after another, all the way down from the 38 down to the 15. I mean, the 11 in Miami Dolphins territory. That is a huge run, and that completely skewed the yards per carry average as Nick Folt will drill this field goal, making it 10 to 7 in the New York Jets' favor. So now the Miami Dolphins crunch time, six minutes in the second quarter and here's Kenny Stills laying out the man of still down to the 50 yard line and it continued to go well for the Miami Dolphins as the man of still once again into the end zone for a touchdown and a great throw by Ryan Tannehill perfect ball placement and Kenny Stills was right there for the reception here come the Jets now not getting any better and Ndamukong Sue absolutely stomps on Christian Hackenberg right in his face and I don't I don't think he's gonna avoid a fine for that one that was pretty deadly but here's Jarvis Landry's second touchdown on the game making sure that the Dolphins secured this lead for the second half 120 left in the second driving is New York and here is Eric Decker with the late touchdown and drove right back and made this only a four-point game here in Miami's favor but a lot of gameplay still to come here with 38 seconds now. Screen set up, nowhere to go, so why not heave it deep for your only receiver that makes any plays? It's Devontae Parker down the field to the 33-yard line. And a big play there to set up the Dolphins in the red zone here. And here is Jay Ajayi weaving and steaming defenders in the open field into the end zone for a touchdown reservations for six pointing and I stole that line right from Arios's cookbook I am very very sorry for that one but I can steal as many references as I want because I have freedom of speech but who cares honestly first down and there's Matt Forte to set up the New York Jets in field goal range here with three seconds and this was a high scoring first half 20 to 28 and it's not going to get any easier for either team the blowout needs to continue here as right away Tannehill has picked off his second interception of the game and this one goes back for six never saw the defender who jumped it like Donkey Kong himself let's look at this one once again 
As you see, it looks like Devontae Parker's wide open, but jumping it is number 32, who I don't know the name. And that really makes you feel bad for Ryan Tannehill. It really, really does. Third down 11, he wasn't just going to give up. He will find the man of still himself. Also very, very good in limited action. Down to five for 132, but sadly, Kenny Stills will not get up. And this is not good. It looks like he's dying on the field. He's spitting out blood everywhere. This is not good for Kenny Stills. And he will be rushed to the hospital, and he will not return for four weeks. But Jay Ajayi, good news, everybody. His second touchdown, a sacrifice had to be made for this man to get some action. And he is killing it. Jay Ajayi out injured for most of the year, but he finally came back and then started in case of Aaron Foster's injury. But here is Aaron Wallace getting his first career sack in very, very proud fashion if I do say so myself and it is still 35 to 28 as that forces it to switch possessions and why not throw to your only healthy receiver Devontae Parker taking over coming in clutch can he be a new tr true number one everybody's been saying that around the league but Devontae Parker toasts there three receptions 100 yards and one touchdown on pace for a thousand on the year and Parker continues to make big plays absolutely blowing past number 31 on this play but the Jets weren't just going to quit after their efforts. Here is Matt Forte all the way down inside the 10-yard line. He has 18 for 159 on the day. And that is just not good for this run defense. But Kenneth Dick's in for Harambe. Dick's out. The ball comes. And Muhammad Wilkerson falls on it down to the 11-yard line. And the New York Jets now have a chance to get back in this game with 536 remaining and all three timeouts. Christian Hackenberg going to throw down the field. is caught by Jacob Tammy, the big tight end, down to the 45-yard line. And this Jet has not run into a tower quite yet. Hackenberg dropping back, and he cannot escape the rush. Cameron Wake, the Canadian, gets there. Down to the 49-yard yard line, Hackenberg goes. Excuse me. He had a pretty solid game. 249 and two touchdowns on the game. And here... Rashad Jones flips him with 159 remaining, and that, folks, is going to secure it. It may not sound like it, we don't win very often, but 37 to 42, they ended up scoring a touchdown, trying to go for two, they did not get it, and this one is all but over, as you can see, shaking hands on the sideline, and what a game overall. You had two injured wide receivers, both whom will not return, so we're gonna have to look to the practice squad. We signed some extra help, we got some guys. Of course, we still have, uh, what's his dick, well, Leonte Carew, so a lot of talent there. Jay Ajayi, is he the running back of the future? Nobody really knows. Two touchdowns on the day, though, and that means he could be a possible solid replacement for Matt Forte moving forward, and that obviously means a lot to those offenses. Their running game is really Really, really looked upon as well as their vertical offense and if they can establish both of those things they could be a championship contending team next week we, we face the uh, Chargers a very talented football team with a lot of speed on both sides of the ball and we have that to look forward to it's gonna be a lot of fun but thank you guys so much for watching rate comment subscribe tell me what you think and I will see you all later